Aaron, we just spoke to the police chief here in Summersworth. He confirmed that the standoff is continuing here at 219 Green Street. As you can see for yourself, you can see the state police armored vehicle there. Now, we just watched officers put a large steel bar on the front of that vehicle. The police chief here in Summersworth saying there is a drug component to what led to the current situation. Now, throughout the overnight, police blocked off about three quarters of a mile of Green Street. Around a quarter to eight in the morning, state police troopers joined the SWAT teams trying to get the people inside the four-unit apartment house to come out. Throughout the morning, officers could be seen patrolling in front of the street, urging people to come to the front door. Officers threw a bullhorn telling people inside they didn't want to hurt them. Now, neighbors reported hearing multiple explosions, pop possibly pepper gas overnight. Those blasts were heard periodically during the morning as well. Now, the Summersworth Police Chief says there have been numerous arrests already, including this one witnessed by a neighbor. Three o'clock yesterday, there was two men and a woman that we watched get cuffed and put in the back of police cars and taken away. There was about three or four police cars. There were a couple plainclothes officers and then several that were in more civilian clothes with tactical vests on. I can say that the any threats or any danger is contained to uh, a, a very tight perimeter and there's no, there's no apparent threat to any of the public right now. As you take a live look at the scene once again, you can see that armored vehicle in front of 219 Green Street. Now, the police chief said they did have to evacuate a few people. As to how long this might last, the chief said he wouldn't speculate on that, saying it'll last as long as it needs to last. Reporting live in Summersworth, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.